Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, man. It's time to do a new mastery video. I haven't done one of these for my main account in like four years, if I'm not mistaken. The last one, I think it was 2021, so maybe three years. The point is that it's time. I have recently tweaked my masteries with a lot of help from my alliance mate. For those of you that don't know, I have been a long time user of the damage masteries. I play with them 24 seven, man. Of course, my alliance defense is set with a different mastery. We'll briefly look through all of my different loadouts and I'm not gonna go into details explaining what each mastery does. I will explain a little bit here and there but I just want to let you guys know why I use these masteries and why I truly believe this for me my main mastery setup it's the best mastery setup that you can have the game is about clearing your fight as fast as possible and moving on to the next one and yes you will have to use some health pots oh my god we got health pots coming out of everywhere nowadays so that shouldn't be an issue my main idea with all of these masteries is I sit there and I think what is going to benefit most of my champs in most game situations and that's why I picked what I picked okay there are diminishing returns for some of these masteries like cruelty and precision right I just put them in reverse but you still benefit tremendously from having five out of five I know there was a period in time around 2019 2020 I know it's a long time ago when some people preferred to put just four points in cruelty and use the other point somewhere else I was one of those people those days are gone okay and I do like to have at least one in courage because at one point you will be under 50% of health and you will just get more damage I mean more attack basically so it's okay to have that now the big change for me since last Last time is that I have completely given up for my attack for assassin I used to have at least one at one point I was running with three or four points there it's basically useless and in some cases it messes with some with some champions especially if you have them on defense although this is not a defensive mastery I just decided to give up on it completely I do have three in despair basically what despair does the debuffs that you apply to your enemies it lowers their healing ability so I highly recommend that to everybody I used to run with three out of three in glass cannon the little bit of attack you get as a bonus it's not enough to justify the points in there and plus you end up with champions having a smaller health pools which is detrimental to you anyway because in longer fights you know all any health any extra health matters so where did I put all those magical points I familiarized myself with inequity and it's just an, an awesome mastery and I, I should have been playing with this all along but I didn't <laughs> so what this does it reduces uh, the enemy attack by 6% for each debuff they are currently suffering from to a maximum of 30 36%. Nowadays, I play with Titania. What does she have? A lot of debuffs. I play with Scorpion. What does he have? A lot of debuffs. Even when I play with Hercules, man, you do those armor breaks and you still get a little bit of an advantage. And that one debuff, you shoot two rabbits with one stone. With Inequity, you reduce their attack. And with uh, Despair, you reduce their ability to heal. So it's a win-win. Another tweak that I've done here is I've taken the two points from Salve, okay? And I just pop them in here. Stand your ground. I don't always block heavy hits but in the one time that I'm not fast enough to dex and they're like about to slam me in the face with a heavy if that happens now I have a chance to you know not get my block broken and smacked in the face right so if I would recommend anybody one mastery in the defensive tree if you're not familiar with it it's this mastery to me this is the best defensive mastery on the planet <laughs> because it increases your block proficiency by 800 right so basically you will take considerably less damage from blocking any hit with any champion like at all times i know some champions they get very 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 little block damage but generally speaking this is your best defensive mastery okay moving on to proficiencies just a standard three in parry and three in stupefy i feel like anybody with a brain and you're all very smart very smart people obviously you should have these two masteries maxed out when you parry you take less damage it makes the stun from your parries last longer so why wouldn't you want to have more time to bam 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 them when you stun them than not right dexterity just one point so that's this is my go-to build i feel like it's an amazing build it covers all the bases i have enough firepower in attack but also a super solid defense of course to coagulate reduces the amount of bleed but i get on myself especially from double edge but also from bleeders man every now and then you will be in a situation where you're gonna have a bleed on you okay so why wouldn't you want to feel like you're protected if 
especially if you're running um, double edge. As somebody with the damage masteries, these three right here, recovery, willpower, which is amazing. I feel like any person, regardless if you have damage masteries or not, you should have willpower because there's so many champions, especially science champions nowadays, running around with the thousand debuffs. Just get yourself willpower on. You will regenerate health back whenever you have like an armor break on you or something like that. Why would you want to regenerate? I mean, it's, you know, it's like logically speaking. So recovery, willpower, and coagulate are amazing for anybody running with damage masteries. And then of course, we have the amazing masteries of block proficiency, inequity, which is amazing for battlegrounds, and despair, which to me personally, it's, I mean, I understand what they're doing because it's about your debuffs, but it's a defensive mastery if you think about it logically. So that's it. That's my main mastery build. We'll check out the second loadout. The second loadout, it's basically, I created this when I was still wrapping up Necropolis runs. I have five out of five assassin here. And at one point, like I tweaked it a little bit because I didn't want to create a third loadout. So I tweaked it a little bit to make it useful for defense purposes, like in Alliance War, but also in Battlegrounds. That's why you see the inequity. This is why you see Limber at five out of five. But my third one, which is a new loadout, it's all about defensive. This is going to be my standard Alliance War default. Let's just do that over here. In your defense, your champions will go below 50%. And when that happens, you want them to hit harder. You want them to get a benefit. And what bigger benefit than having courage on, right? Then another crazy benefit. Why? I only have one bleeder on defense right now for my alliance defense. But why would you want to have their bleeds last one second longer, man? That one second could be one more tick that kills an attacker right so i feel like two at least in deep wounds is very good and then you think man why are you crazy why are you using unfazed well unfazed first of all i've liked unfazed ever since it was put out a lot of people were like ah it's such a crappy mastery i don't think it's crappy at all because when somebody that's evading you your defender or when you're playing on attack and like you're playing against a spider-man or somebody like that and they evade you then you go unblockable and then you go smash them you know what i'm saying so having that as a 30 percent chance all you needed to work is one time in a fight and that one time could be a you know game a match winner so to me it's very and you want to be annoying on your defense man you you want to annoy that's why we have limber right so you reduce the stun. That way we have that to be as annoying as possible on defense, right? And then for defense, I dropped coagulate because I don't really need it without the damage mastery. So I just have inequity here and that's pretty much it. But this is these are my loadouts, my masteries. I wanted you guys to take a look at if you're considering damage masteries or if you're playing with damage masteries already. I do encourage you to take a look at the changes that I've made and try them out. See how it works for you. For me, it works perfectly no matter what I'm playing. In Alliance Attack, man, you want to finish those fights as fast as possible because the longer the fight is, the more punches you're going to take. You don't want to take a lot of punches. You want to finish that right away. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, if you found this video to be any helpful, please give this video a like. Consider commenting. Let me know in the comments below what mastery setup are you using right now. Would you consider switching to this mastery loadout? I don't know. Let me know anything related to masteries. I want to hear your opinion because your voice matters. Consider checking out the links in the description below. There's a whole bunch of links you can click on and support the channel. But this is it for now. I'll see you real soon with a brand new video. Bye bye.